Scott McCurley, your linebackers coach, Hello. about to join us here as uh, – this is this has been a lot of fun as we are getting to break down all of these new players. Of course, uh, Coach getting his mic on right now. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you guys this morning? We're fantastic. Ready for day three. Here. We're ready for day three. But how about uh, getting yourself a new Notre Dame linebacker in Maris last night? How excited are you for him? Yeah, we love it. It was um, great job. Uh, the whole process by everybody scouting department. Um, Paul Gunther, our run coordinator, was uh, one of the first ones to put his eyes on him too, and. Um, got out to his pro day. We were lucky enough to get um, him in here for a 30 visit, and the 30 visit was just was great. He's a, uh, I mean, first thing, he's a great kid, great human, really smart football player. We got a chance to, to sit down with him, put him on the board, do those things with him, really smart. And um, when you see that kind of tape coming from uh, that, that kind of player, when you get to know him, um, you get really excited about it. So. Oh. It, we're really excited about the pick. Yeah, a lot of safety, uh, a rover hybrid type background from his days in high school in Honolulu. Yeah. And he gets to Notre Dame and he has this blitzing specialty <laughs> that, he, that can kind of work on third down. Is that something you guys identified and that's kind of what makes Maris really fun as a second level player? No question. I, I think the value he can add to us um, in, in the base packages, being a Sam who can blitz, um, he can win versus own linemen. Um, he definitely is a good matchup against backs. Um, third down he can add some value as a blitz or two so when when he's going forward he he, he definitely comes alive on the tape yeah we, ha we haven't had an opportunity to talk a whole lot about eric kendricks and what he can provide to that room and uh, what do you think he can do as far as helping these young guys that are in that room demon clark to marvin overshone now marist but mm -hmm. also be able to help contribute on the field himself uh, it, it's been huge having him i i mean the loss of of Leighton last year um th that that's just something that is a leader and being someone in the room is is it's tough yeah. um, because he he was that guy for us last year and um, n now that he's moved on I mean Eric comes into the room and, and that's the role he's going to take for one I mean he's got great familiarity with Zim scheme which is huge um, to, to bring him into the room um, just to be able to communicate with him as a coach um, in in his ability to communicate with the players get everything set um, it, it, it's been great. The, the first couple weeks with him have, have really been awesome having him in the room. I had a bit of a two-parter. So you mentioned uh, Maurice as Sam and what you think you're able, he's able to do there. With the communication and the IQ, though, do you see him being able to be in a mic role at any point in time? I, I think the, the potential's there. Yes, uh, sir. Based on, uh, you know, how smart of a player he is, you know, um, I think the potential down the road is a green dot type guy. Wow. Yeah, you, you could definitely see that, you know. But um, um, right now we we want to put him in positions he can succeed with early. And then really um, we'll, we'll see where he grows to because he's still got a ceiling um, that, that, that we think he can grow into be a good – uh, every down football player. Yeah, second part is uh, you have Kendricks. Uh, obviously. Hold on one second. We're going to come back on the fan side, and then, and then I want you to ask that question. Okay. Yeah, just to uh, uh, make sure we can reset top of the hour. Of course. Appreciate you, Coach. Day three of the NFL draft. We're about to get round four underway here, but it is always a treat as we get to talk with a variety of Cowboys coaches and scouts right now. Linebackers coach Scott McCurley with us here on 105.3 The Fan and DallasCowboys.com. Zach Wolchuk, Nick Harris, Brian Broaddus, Aisha Morrison, Bobby Belt, and of course, Coach Aisha, uh, you are ready, two-parter here. You're ready to fire one away for Coach McCurley. Yeah, um, within this linebacker room, you have Kendricks that is here now. You have Maurice um, DeMarion Overshone, who's returning yeah. back from injury and all his length and his explosiveness um, and then Damone Clark as well like it, you guys have a lot of versatility are you guys excited about some of the different things you're going to be able to do with this core uh, definitely mm -hmm. I, I think um, getting Demo back is is huge yes. I, I mean that that was that was heartbreaking too yeah. last year oh, in the man. preseason that that was that was a tough one to take um, but getting Damone all the reps he did last year for him to be able to slide over from Will Dime uh, Leighton goes down. He takes over the mic. Um, we feel really comfortable about him playing really any position back there, um, even the Sam now moving forward and things. So um, Eric obviously bringing him into the room and, and uh, Maris. So it, it's it's going to be, and we hope to add today, you know, and, and that we, we still need some numbers in the room just yeah, overall. Absolutely. So but by the time training camp comes around, we, we really hope to have a competitive group. Um, going into going into the fall. What what trait did you identify coming into the draft or coming to the offseason that you said 
I really want to get more of this in the linebacker room. You know, I think for us, we, we just wanted good depth linebacker sure. player. We, we we need more uh, uh, um, uh, bodies in the room, quite frankly, and good football players. Mm -hmm. and, and and that's my thing right there. We'll figure out a way to use them. We we have a good vision of Maris right now, what he can be, okay, with his, his ability to blitz and do the, all those things. But um, we want good football players in the room that are going to create competition. Now, you can say the things about the run game and getting bigger and all that stuff, and we'll do a better job, you know, in, in all those areas. But at the same time, um, we want good football players in the room that are going to up the competition and, um, and give us the most bodies come, come next fall. Coach, what was the challenge last year for you? You did a hell of a job of dealing with, like, a lot of dime stuff with playing with undersized. You know, you're playing with safeties as linebackers, and yeah. you're trying to mask that as best as you can. I, I could tense when you just answer that question, more bodies in the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that something that, like, okay, I, I did what I, I, we did what we had to do. Yeah. But I, I see us going a different direction of not. And nothing against Dan and them. You just played a hell of a defense. But is there, like, yeah, we need more bodies here. Yeah, obviously we got short. We, with the yeah. injuries, we, losing Dev during the season, you know, there, there was some things didn't go our way, right. and, and we ended up short. I, I'll say this. Let me, for, for Marquise Bell, though, yes. I mean, oh, yeah. a, a yeah, shout out to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, what he did for us last year was, was outstanding. Absolutely. Because – I mean, it, he he came in and gave a great effort, you know. And I'd still have him in the room any day. I was know? wondering, are you going to fight for Marquise Bell? It may not go that way, but but I'm a Marquise Bell guy for life now, for for what he he helped us do. So uh, you know, the, we're going to get more linebackers in the room, and we're going to let him go play safety and do what he does, you know. But at the same time, just just uh, my appreciation Hell of a job for him you guys, and, and what really and what was. he did. Um, was was through the roof. So. Really quick, because I know you got to get out of here. What kind of insight can you provide us about how Demarvin Overshone has developed off the field? Do you think he's kind of taken a veteran mentality to his quote unquote rookie season? Well, I'll say this: the way he's attacked, you know, his his rehab, yeah. um, extremely impressive. I mean, he he's he's ready to go. He's itching to get back out there. If he could go out and take all the the OTA reps right now, he'd do it. And, <laughs> yeah. and, and he, I mean, Britt's done a great job with him, and I think he's ready to go. So wow. it, it's going to be real exciting for him come come training camp. Mm -hmm. Cowboys linebackers coach Scott McCurley with us. Coach, thank you so much. Thanks, yeah. guys. Hey, and congratulations. Yep. It's going to be fun. Yep, thank, thank you. you. Yep.